You got a five liter Mustang, either a Fox chassis or an SN95. Should you upgrade your 302? Should you swap in a 351 or swap in an LS? In this video, we're gonna take a look at a comparison between a stock 302, a stock 351 Windsor, and a stock 4.8 liter and 5.3 LS. Then we're gonna take a look at modified versions of the 302, modified versions of the 351, and modified versions of the LS. Which one do you pick? Guys that own modern Coyote Mustangs or modern Camaros or Chargers or Challengers or any kind of modern performance car would look at this power curve and go, wow, that thing only makes 260 horsepower at the tires? <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. Well, it's actually even more pathetic than that <laughs> because this isn't 260 horsepower at the tires. This is 260 flywheel horsepower. And this is kind of what you would expect from a stock 5 liter Mustang. This one's uh, circa 19... 88 or 89 we pulled from the wrecking yard and this is what they made stock when we run them on the engine dyno the way that we run them they're rated at 225 horsepower but run with long tube headers and an open throttle body and the Mazira electric water pump and obviously tuned with an optimized tune this is about what they make i've run 20 or 30 or 40 of these motors on the dyno and this is all this is actually a fairly good one some of them make closer to 250 and torque is down closer to 300 foot-pounds. This one actually made 260 horsepower and 321 foot-pounds. So it was a, you know, a hopped up version of a factory five liter. But this is the reason that we want to discuss why somebody would want to either upgrade this one or swap over to an LS. And that's a good option, obviously. And as we'll see, there's a reason why people want to do that because if you look at this power output now back in 1988 when i bought my first mustang i actually bought it in november of 87 uh, to go showroom stock racing as i talked about but back then this was the hot setup i mean this five liter mustang was out on the streets running up against an l98 you know tune port irock or corvette or even a grand national the grand nationals they ran pretty hard. <laughs> you had to drive the Mustang pretty well to be able to beat one of those if you were if you guys both were racing stock. And chances are, if it was a Grand National, I never ran up against a stock one. Everybody turned up the boost on those things, and it was easy to do, and they made lots of power. But back in the day, this car would go uh, my my car would go 13s with this with this kind of power. So it worked pretty well. But if we fast forward now. It's almost nothing compared to even what a stock, and as we'll see, compared to what a stock 5.3 from the junkyard is. It's really not even close, which is why guys would think about upgrading these or just doing a complete swap over to an LS. Now, before we get to that, let's talk about this factory power output. So 260 horsepower and 321 foot-pounds of torque, but obviously that's just a starting point because when the five liter was born, when, when Ford started doing Ford performance back in the day, this kind of ushered in a whole new industry of five liter performance. So now we have 20 or 30 or 40 different sets of cylinder heads. We have camshafts, superchargers, turbos, blowers, all kinds of stuff. So it's fairly easy to make more power with a factory five liter. And I like guys to do that. I like guys that stay with the five liter platform and keep a Ford motor in their Ford. I also like guys that choose to do something else. If you want to put an LS in it, and we're going to talk about the reason why you would do that in a minute, but there's obviously good reasons to do both. There are two avenues and there are other avenues too. Hey, if you want to put a turbo rotary in there or a 2.3 liter turbo motor and make it a pseudo SVO Mustang, all of that is good. Heck, if you want to put a one liter Chevy Sprint motor in there, obviously one of my favorites, and try to get your Mustang to make 50 miles a gallon and have it look like a five liter Mustang, that's awesome too. Whatever you decide, be individualistic, <laughs> do your own thing and make it work. I'm going to give you a couple of avenues and we're going to show you some like objective data here on just the performance side of it. But that's not always the reason that we decide to do what we decide to do with our combination. So this is the power output of a stock one. But let's compare this now to if you were to go to the wrecking yard and pick up, let's say, a 5.3, just a stock one. We're not even talking about modified versions because obviously we can make a lot more power with both of these. But here's what happens if you go <laughs> and swap in a stock 5.3 and a little bit more modern, obviously 5.3 from the junkyard. And this is why guys do this. I mean, if you look at a 5.3, which basically would be a stroker 5 liter, if you're comparing it to the Ford, um, it just makes more power everywhere. And this is a stock truck motor. 
So it makes a lot more torque. I mean, we're talking 380 foot pounds of torque <laughs> and 354 horsepower. So it has, uh, you're talking about a hundred horsepower gain. And again, this is just stock. <laughs> it's a hundred horsepower gain and it's a lot of extra torque too, 50 or 60 foot pounds of torque. And that's if you just go get the stock load, put it in there and nobody would do that. You would, you would at the very least put a cam and springs in, in any LS. And we're not just talking about the performance of this thing. Know also that if a, a uh, an LS motor compared to the factory five liter has, it weighs less. It has a composite intake. It has aluminum heads. It's just a much better combination, objectively speaking, from a performance standpoint. It has everything going for it, which is why you do it. And and even if we just looked at the little one, like the 4.8, look at the 4.8. The 4.8 makes as much torque as the as the bigger 5 liter does, but still makes a lot more horsepower. You know, this is um, 333 horsepower and 343 foot-pounds. So basically, it's better in every way than a stock 5 liter. But what happens if we were to still go the Ford route and maybe look at a 351? Let's check it out. One of the other options for 5 liter Mustang owners is obviously to swap in the big brother to the 302, which is a 351. And luckily for the 5 liter guys, Ford made a number of different 351s that they offered usually in trucks. So you could go to the wrecking yard and pick those up, even hydraulic roller versions, which I like because I like the hydraulic roller cam. They last a long time. There's a lot of good options out there in the aftermarket to make lots of power. So what happens if you go and pick up a 351? Well, I've done that from the wrecking yard so here's an example of a 351 that we use to um, do an upgrade with the edelbrock performance stuff but this was the stock version and <clears throat> this particular 351 obviously offered a lot more torque which we would expect um, it made about the same peak power. It just did it earlier in the RPM range. And this particular 351, I didn't run with the EFI, with the EFI that came with it in the truck. We actually put a dual plane intake and a carburetor on it. So it would be a little bit different than this, but you can kind of see what it does. The 351 is still saddled, is, is at least the way that you get them from the wrecking yard, is still saddled with a very mild cam timing and very restrictive cylinder heads. In fact, arguably even more restrictive on the 351 because... They just don't flow enough. They don't flow enough for a 302. So they certainly don't flow enough for the larger 351. So you're going to gain, if you step up to a 351, you're going to gain definitely a lot of torque. The thing I like about the 351 is not so much what you get in stock form, but now what you can get in modified form because there's some kind of limitation with the factory five liter block. Guys can argue about the fact that it's the 500 horsepower level or 400 or 600 or whatever the number is. But with a 351 Windsor block, we have taken those a lot farther than a factory five liter block. So you can make a lot of power with the 351 block. And if you keep the stock crank in there and the stock block, put rods and pistons in it. And then obviously there, there are lots of cylinder heads, lots of camshafts, lots of intakes. So you can make very good power with a 351. It is heavier than the 302. It is bigger physically. Um, so fitment, especially with headers and stuff, can be a little bit more of an issue, but not any more than swapping in an LS. So the 351 is another good option. And we'll take a look at some uh, modified versions of both the 302 and the 351 in a minute. But to give you an idea, again, here is our here is our 5.3 liter. So yeah, down at 2,500, they make <laughs> similar torque, but you know they're just swapping in an LS you know, from an objective standpoint, there's just no comparison between a factory 302 or even a factory 351 compared to an LS. And, and again, now the sky is the limit for how much more power you can make. So let's take a look at a couple of modified versions and we'll talk about, you know, the costs associated with those a little bit. I'm not going to go into detail on each individual item, but you get an idea on the, the money that you'd have to spend versus the power that you would get. But again, those decisions <laughs> are not, whether we swap or not is not purely based on what kind of performance we get but let's check it out this is the stock 302 we compared it to the stock 351 from the wrecking yard a stock 4.8 from the wrecking yard and a stock 5.3 from the wrecking yard but now let's take a look and see what happens if we modify these motors so this is our stock 302 Here's what happens when we do a typical heads cam and intake. In this case, it was a set of RHS heads, the Comp Extreme Energy 274 cam, and a ported Holly Systemax intake manifold. So here's our modified 302. And this is kind of, I would say, kind of typical of what we would get. We've 
when you modify the 302 with a decent set of heads cam and intake it's going to put you somewhere near 400 horsepower and this is kind of what we got on our modified version um, let's take a look and see what happened here is a modified 351 again stock bottom end but with heads cam and intake similar deal this was an edelbrock package that they sell a complete heads cam and intake package from edelbrock for the 351 and as we expect just as it did when it was stock um, it made more power and torque than the 302 um, now it has enough cylinder head to breathe it has enough camshaft so the modified 351 produced 460 horsepower and 435 foot-pounds of torque. So both of those modified versions obviously make a lot more than their stock <laughs> their stock counterparts. But let's take a look and see what happened when we modified our 5.3 liter with heads, cam, and intake. Yeah, we're getting a little busy here. So I've removed one of the runs. I removed the modified 351. Just it was getting a little busy. So we have our stock 302 in blue, then our modified 302 in green, and then our modified 5.3 liter in red. And it, that produced 485 horsepower, and torque was up to 424 foot-pounds of torque. So as you can see, a modified 5.3 <laughs> responds the, the way that a 5 liter does, only more so. It starts off with more uh, in stock trim and ends up with more in a modified version. So now while it might be possible for you to get a 5 liter Ford to make this kind of power, uh, it takes quite a bit to get the, the 5 liter Ford up around 500 horsepower. It takes obviously a more concerted effort then you can't just throw a set of aluminum heads and a camshaft and stuff in it. And the camshaft was maybe slightly bigger. Uh, actually, no, the camshaft was a 224-232 on both of these combinations. So it gives you an idea how much more efficient that the LS is. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the modified 302. And we can compare this now to the modified 351, which obviously is bigger. Uh, so the modified 351 actually made more torque down low than the 5.3 liter obviously it's bigger 5.8 versus 5.3 liter um and it made similar kind of power at the top although it fell off so up to 5500 the 351 was doing very well compared to the 5.3 liter now obviously you might be thinking yeah well it's 5.3 liter versus 5.8 why don't we compare it to a 6 liter and a 6 liter a modified 6 liter is going to be making like 550 or 560 <laughs> so it will be a lot better than the 5.8 liter but and then and the the six liters are hard to find in the wrecking yard but the 5.3 liters are, are a dime a dozen you can go find eight or ten of those in, in, in almost any wrecking yard that you go to but it's an interesting comparison so the 351 definitely has potential it didn't make quite as much as the the 5.3 liter but this is objective stuff which one would you guys pick? <laughs> would you modify the 302? Would you modify 351? Or would you go the LS route? Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what do you think about our comparison? Which one would you pick? 302, 351, LS? Now, I have to admit, if somebody would have come to me back in the day and said, Hey, Richard, we've got a motor for you to upgrade your Mustang. It's a stroker motor. It's got more displacement. It's got not only a four bolt block, but a six bolt block. The block and the rest of the stuff will stand over a thousand horsepower. It's got aluminum heads. It's got a composite intake. It weighs less, it costs less, and it makes more power. I would have been all over it. But the reality is not every Fox or SN95 guy wants to swap in an LS. That's why in this video, I included modifications to a 302, to the 351, and to the LS. Now sure, objectively, you can pick the one that makes the most power for the least amount of money. That's one way to go. Some Ford guys will only go with Fords. Some Ford guys will go with LSs. That's why I like to include everything. I'm Richard Holder, guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More and more testing every day coming up.